What is up guys? Welcome to, let's see, the 24th Intermediate Draft Tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to be building the window that our panel goes in. But before we get to that, I want to read you a little MLIA I found last night. And in case you don't know, this is a little uh, app for my iPod. It says, Today I tried calling my sister again and again. When I saw her the next day, I asked why she didn't answer her phone. Her reason? She changed her ringtone to the circle of life, and she and her husband reenacted the first scene of Lion King with her baby boy each time the phone rang. So, with that being said, I suggest any of you who have kids to do that. Now that I got that under my system, let's go ahead and continue with my tutorial. So, in the last tutorial, what we pretty much did is build the panel. Now, the panel is pretty much this big white space on the window, and the J-frame is the window itself, and this is the scroll bar on the right-hand side, the title bar. So, what happens is, in Java language, well, let's say in Windows language, the body goes in the window, but in Java language, the panel goes in the frame. Why they named it two different things? Just because people want to be different, you know? And uh, it confuses the rest of us, but hopefully I simplified that for you. So, like I said, in the last tutorial we built the panel, now we have to build the frame. So let's go ahead and do a couple things first. Our program consists of a slider, and it's underneath a panel. So let's go ahead and put, let's make that slider right now. That's what I'm trying to say. J slider, and this J slider is already a class, so don't worry about building this. So I'm going to go ahead and name my slider slider because, you know, I'm not trying to confuse you guys. So now that we got a slider um, variable, we need a panel object because, of course, we didn't make that for nothing. So let's go ahead and put private draw oval because that was the name of our other class. If your class is named different, then don't copy me. And I'm just going to name mine my panel. And this is what's going to sit inside of our frame. So now what do we need to do with, you know, with this class that we're making? We're only going to be making one method, and that's actually con the constructor. So as you can see, I named mine the window because, I mean, that's what we're making, the window. So let's go ahead, and in order to make the constructor, go public the window, and it's not going to take any uh, arguments. So inside your constructor, let's go ahead and first... In order to change the title of the window, and your title bar appears at the very top of your window or frame. Um, people call it frame, but I'm going to be saying window. If I use them interchangeably, uh, don't blame me. So in order to change the title, what we need to do is put super, because we need to call the super class, which is JFrame right here. And just go ahead and pass it in whatever you want to put. I'm gonna just going to put the title. Keep things really simple for you guys. So that's how you put a title on your window. So after this, what we need to do, we already said, all right, we're going to be having an object from the class we just made. Now we need to set it equal to something. So set my panel equal to new and whatever you named your other class that we built in the last tutorial. That's what you want to set it equal to. I named mine draw oval. So of course, uh, that takes no parameters because we didn't do anything weird with that constructor. So now that we have a panel object, we can begin doing cool stuff to that panel. One of the cool things we can do to it is change the background color of it. And this, in essence, since it sits inside your window, it'll change the background color of your window. So let's go ahead and in order to change the background color of your panel, go ahead and put my panel, or whatever you name your object, dot set background color right there and we can set it equal to any color we want let's see our options should pop up um, black blue let me think of something good green you want it something light since you're we'll put it orange there you don't want anything dark because our circle is going to be dark and uh, you know that just wouldn't be good so there we go I had to see how much time I had left now let me find this and all right so now that we change the background color, what we want to do is right now we have a background and a circle painted on it, but we don't have that slider yet that I promise you guys would have. So what we want to do now is set up that J slider and 
we need this in order to control the diameter value. So we already uh, declared it up here called slider. So now let's go ahead and set it equal. Slider equals new j slider. And as a constructor for a j slider, it takes, let me see, one, two, three, four parameters. The first parameter it takes is how you want your slider to appear on the screen. Now there are two different types. There are ones that go left and right, and this is horizontal, or there's a vertical slider that goes up and down, of course. So we want the left and right kind because it just looks better in our window. So swing constants dot horizontal. It already popped up for us. So this means, all right, we want our slider to go left and right. So it takes three more parameters after this. The first one is the minimum and maximum value of our slider. So let's say we want a minimum of zero and a maximum of 200. And this means our diameter of their circle can go no less than zero and no more than 200. And of course you can change this depending on how big your window is, but my window is only gonna be like, I don't know, like 150 pixels wide, so I don't want my circle to be like a thousand pixels wide. And the last thing you want is, just go ahead and put 10, I'll tell you guys what that means later on. So aside from um, just making a plain old slider, let's do some cool things, let's spice it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and take our slider object, and the first thing we want to do is put set major tick spacing. Now you have the option of putting something called ticks on your slider and what this is is pretty much a little hash marks so you don't get lost. And you can put these as often as you want. I'm going to put mine every 10 pixels. So as your argument just go ahead and put 10 in here and this will set your ticks every 10 pixels. And now that you have them every 10 pixels you need to do one more thing and this is weird I know but it's a necessity. You need to put set paint ticks right here and set this equal to true. So set major tick spacing says how far apart you want your ticks and when you put set paint ticks true this actually paints them on the screen. So you think that they would make only one method to uh, you know paint them both and set the spacing but they didn't so this is the way we need to set it up. Don't blame me write Sun or Oracle or whoever the heck owns the company now and uh, send your hate mail to them. But that's all the time we have for this tutorial. Again, real quick overview. Let me check my time real quick. All right. What we did is we made a slider. We made a panel from our other class that we made. And for the window constructor, which we aren't done building yet, in the next tutorial, we're going to be finished building this. And also, well, you'll see in the next tutorial, we made a title. Uh, we changed our background to orange. And we also finish building our slider and put some cool tick marks on it. So that's all the time I have for this tutorial. I'm probably going to go eat a piece of cake and uh, yeah, like you guys cared about that. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.